Hey guys, I know this is a really random video. I'm coming to you with literally one side of my hair up. I'm just about to start plaiting my hair, but I kind of wanted to like talk about like some things that have helped my skin. So that's what this video is gonna be. We're gonna be talking about some of the things that have helped my skin to improve, my favorite foods and things like that. So I feel like with your skin, like, you need to understand what triggers your acne. So for me, I've basically got every trigger under the sun. But a big one for me is diet and stress. The reason why stress causes acne is because your stress hormone is called cortisol. And when your cortisol is ele elevated, um, it knocks all of your other hormones off. Your hormone balance is essential for clear skin because if you have too much testosterone, for example, the oil glands in your skin get too overstimulated and that causes breakouts. Also, like it affects your adrenals and like your metabolism and essentially everything in your body like when you're stressed it is not a good time to be alive so yeah stress is a really big one for me but my diet is also a huge one just because i am sensitive to so many foods this is partly because of all of the antibiotics i've been on so if you've been on antibiotics for an extended period of time it can cause like gastro what's it called gastrointestinal issues and it can cause like leaky gut and it can cause like food sensitivities and food intolerances because your body is just wiped out. We should not be on antibiotics for long periods of time. And with acne, we genuinely like generally are like I was on limocycline for about a year and a half. I was on doxycycline for about eight months. Um, and that was just like the first rounds of them that I did. And I did multiple rounds of both of them. That is why my body is so damaged. And in order to heal my body, I obviously need to avoid my food sensitivities. So diet is like a big trigger for me. So specifically like with my diet, I can't really eat gluten. I believe I'm celiac, but essentially for you to find out if you're celiac, you have to eat gluten for six weeks. But if you are celiac, whenever you eat gluten, that's doing damage to your intestines that you can never undo. So for me, it was just kind of like too risky to even heavily eat gluten in my diet for six weeks when it's like, I can just avoid it. I get all of the symptoms of being celiac. So that's why I don't eat gluten. Also, gluten's like really inflammatory for your body. And like, I'm not gonna sit here and say, no one should eat gluten, blah, blah, blah. Cause like, it's yummy, isn't it? <laughs> Naturally, we're not, like our bodies weren't made in the first place being able to like process gluten, which is why there are so many people that are celiac. And then also dairy is a really big trigger for me. I feel like this is turning into a triggers, like a food triggers video. <laughs> but the reason that dairy is a trigger is because there are two proteins in dairy called whey and casein. Those both basically trigger acne. A lot of people are like, what do you eat then? <laughs> and it's like, I probably would have said the same thing. <laughs> so like on a daily basis, I eat salmon. I eat a lot of lentils and beans and chickpeas i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> chia seeds quinoa and um, those have a lot of protein in sorry the sky looks absolutely stunning those are kind of my protein sources and then also for protein powder because i am becoming well trying to become a bit of a gym girly i use free soul that's the name of the protein powder and I use their vanilla one. So it's vegan protein, but it's specifically made for like women's menstrual health. So yeah, that's where I get my protein sources from. And then foods that have specifically helped like reduce acne. Ginger and turmeric have just been amazing. Like I have them in shots on a daily basis. I post my ginger and turmeric shots all the time. They're definitely on my YouTube shorts. I have them in tea form as well. Ginger and turmeric tea from the Clippers. And what's good about that one, it actually does have black pepper in it. The ingredient that's in turmeric that helps with inflammation is called curcumin. Basically black pepper increases the absorption of curcumin in your body. So it's like much more powerful. Garlic is really, really good at decreasing inflammation. Garlic also, if you've been on a lot of antibiotics or even like just the pill or Accutane, anything or well, Accutane definitely, you may have what's called like a permeable gut, which is essentially leaky gut. So kind of doesn't matter how good your diet is, all of that nutrients is leaking through your gut. So the way that I help to build back my gut is not only by taking a probiotic, but also drinking bone broth. So bone broth contains a lot of amino acids and collagen, and it's, just, it's incredible for your gut. People always say to drink it in the mornings on an empty stomach, but I I literally, I can't, I can't do that. And I bet loads of you can't do that either because it's kind of gross. Like, it's like drinking gravy, like the second after you've woken up, like 
it's not for me i personally make clear soup and i like i genuinely really enjoy it so what i do is i like boil loads of vegetables and i boil them in water and then like halfway through i add my bone broth um so it's like the perfect amount to like make a soup or you could like blend that if you wanted it to be like a blended soup but i don't mind having the vegetables to chew up cruciferous vegetables a lot of people are like what are cruciferous vegetables and it's your dark green vegetables so the reason that these are so good is because they help your liver so your liver is essential with your skin it is like i would argue the most essential organ as well as like your gut obviously so your liver helps to get rid of toxins and hormones so if you've got an imbalance of hormones say you've got too much estrogen for example then your liver is what's going to get rid of that excess hormones because it can actually be kind of dangerous if you have an imbalance of hormones or like too much estrogen for example because too much estrogen is often what causes cancers it's really important not only like for your health but for your skin that your liver is working in great order so cruciferous vegetables really help your liver to detox excess hormones and so does dandelion tea which i i love dandelion tea i also love licorice and spearmint tea those both help to decrease blood testosterone levels and as I said earlier, your testosterone is the hormone that makes your skin oily if you've got too much of it. It's also what can be one of the lead causes of PCOS, which is why people experience, I can never pronounce it, is it hertuism? Hertuism? Like excess hair growth. That's why a lot of females have hair on their chest, hair on their face that is normally of a like masculine growth pattern. So licorice and spearmint tea are really, really helpful at decreasing testosterone. And also, if you're about to come off the pill, you need to know that there is going to be an androgen rebound so androgen that's like the name like the umbrella term of like male sex hormones when you're on the pill your testosterone is suppressed and then when you come off the pill you have something called an androgen rebound where your testosterone is like oh my god i'm free and it bounces back that bounce back can cause it to go way higher than it was prior to the pill which is why your skin will essentially freak out and you'll get what's called post-pill acne. So if you are coming off the pill, I would recommend having like some teas and some foods that really help to lower your testosterone levels and also help your liver out. But I do have acne healing guides. I'll link the website in the description. It's just www.millie.stanley.uk.com where I have acne guides. I think that's all I kind of wanted to talk about. I just wanted to, to chat about healing acne because that is what I enjoy. And sometimes like within the time pressures of TikTok, it can be a bit like, oh my God, I need to like say everything. But yes, so I know I've been a bit rubbish with uploading actual videos on here. I have been uploading shorts like every day. Um, but yes, thank you for supporting me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.